St. Agnes Catholic Church was the first church in Sellersville, dedicated in April of 1868. It was 25 feet by 40 feet and cost $5,000. The present St. Agnes Church was dedicated in 1985. Monsignor Michael J. Long, the Reverend Father John F. Bowe, and five nuns served the parish. St. Michael's Evangelical Lutheran Church, Cornerstone, was laid in 1870 for a union church with the Reformed Congregation. Mennonites would also use the building. In 1900, St. Michael's and the Reformed Congregation separated. St. Michael's retained the building. In this year of 1991, the Reverend Richard Summy is pastor. St. Paul's United Church of Christ dates back to 1871. After sharing a union church with St. Michael's, St. Paul's broke ground for the present edifice on Easter Monday, 1901. In 1957, the Evangelical and Reformed Church united with the Congregational Christian Church to become St. Paul's United Church of Christ. Reverend George H. Schmidt, Jr. serves as pastor.
Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hand and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. But Thomas, who was called the twin, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger in the mark of the nails, and my hand in his side, I will not believe. A week later, his disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was with them. Although the doors were shut, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. Reach out your hand and put it in my side. Do not doubt, but believe. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have come to believe. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written, so that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that through believing you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord.
The Holy Gospel lesson for this morning is taken from the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 24, verses 35 through 48. What immediately precedes this is, of course, the story of the two men who were on the road to the bay. Pick up as they return to Jerusalem. Then they told what had happened on the road and how he was known to them in the breaking of the bread. As they were saying this, Jesus himself stood among them. They were startled and frightened and supposed that they saw a spirit. And he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do questionings rise in your heart? See my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Handle me and see. For a spirit has not flesh and bones, as you see, that I have. And while they still disbelieved for joy and wonder, he said to them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of oil <coughs> fish, and he took it and ate it before them. Then he said to them, These are my words which I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law and Moses and the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. And he opened their minds to understanding the scriptures and said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ should suffer and on the third day rise from the dead, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins should be preached in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. Here ends the lesson. 